Okay, so this is something that is really, really important to understand, especially with the new FDA regulations that have essentially removed these injectable peptides from compounding pharmacies. As of the filming of this video, we no longer have access to injectable peptides from a compounding pharmacy, which means that most people, most likely including this one here, people are going to be purchasing from websites where you don't need a, a physician's prescription to do so. That is extremely dangerous because they cut corners slash there are differences in using a compounding pharmacy versus a research chemical website. And one of the big things is endotoxins or LPS. These are toxins that are created by bacteria that often contaminate these vials when you purchase from an online reseller. I don't care if you know 10 people who have taken it from a particular website, I'm not even gonna name any of the websites, but have taken it from a reputable source, no issues, that doesn't mean that you're not going to have an issue. And so when we start seeing things like this, the first thing is that this is most likely coming from a online reseller of peptides or seller of peptides, and we are gonna have endotoxin contamination, which is going to cause side effects. We have not seen a single case of this in the seven years that we have been doing this in our practice with injectable or oral from a compounding pharmacy.